Alright guys, just pulled up at my pickup. I have never picked up in Lorain, Ohio before and this is what it looks like. A ghost town. There ain't nobody here, but I'm heading to the truck scale to get my empty weight. Get my loaded too, hopefully. They let me do that here. So I don't have any problems with my weight. I have to go to a scale and find out motor weight and then come all the way back. shut down the family's from here in the rain but I got me some dunnage I had some dunnage out here he said this place hasn't been used in years he's like it's all shut down but they're wanting to sell these the load that I'm picking up right now I forgot what he called them the steel steel beams whatever they're wanting to sell them now and get them out of here and he said these cranes haven't been used in years so he told me to go wait wait over here by this table in case it in case those magnets don't work on the machine anymore he said it's the first time i ran this crane in years i ran it yesterday and he's like i was trying to get it ready for you you drivers coming and picking up these loads he's like but worst case scenario he's like if these these <laughs> if these pipes fall he's like that way you're out of the way uh if it hits your trailer you'll get a new trailer and you'll still be alive <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead way over here until i get loaded I knew it. This place looks like a ghost town. Look at all the the spider webs, old gloves. All this stuff was just left here. Left here to rot. And this is what an abandoned warehouse looks like, guys. There's spider webs everywhere. I'm gonna get spiders in my truck. Ziki, we go get spiders. Go get spiders, Ziki. Wonder how long it's gonna take them to operate this crane. That's when I when I pulled up at the security shack, the security yard shack. He said we our first truck is here. And I was like, first truck? It's eleven o'clock. <laughs> zoom in with this thing. He's loading it right there. It's working so far, guys.
way. They're saying each one of those pipes are uh, 11 5 and uh, I had a second pickup, so I don't know what exactly they think they're putting on my trailer. I just called my fleet manager and he said uh, supposedly they were putting on the same things that you got now. And I was like, oh, well, these things weigh 11 5 and I don't think I'm able to pick up, pick up anything else. So uh, we'll see. He's about to contact contact the the guy he got the load from and see see what's going on with that to see if I'm gonna be going to my second pickup or what's going on. So this ended up not being a second pickup technically I'm not picking up another part of the load that I have. Um, it is just put as a second pickup because they are re-tagging um, the steel bars that I have. So they're re-tagging it, rebranding it, whatever you want to call it. So right now they're on the back of my trailer doing something to the bars, re-tagging it I guess. Um, it took me like 30 minutes to find somebody here. Jeez, there's nobody in their office. I had to walk through this uh, door B right here and grab somebody. Like, I'm here to get rebranded, man. What's up? What's up? Where you guys at? <laughs> But uh, hopefully this don't take long. I don't know what retagging means, but I um, should be out of here soon. I drove uh, another 60 miles here, so an hour to uh, go and get retagged also. So, and then I'll be going to Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's probably about 940 miles from here. So I'm about to about to look at my route, see see what I, what way I can go through. All right, guys. I just ran into Carlos on the road. We emerged on the 44 West. 44 West. We were like a couple minutes apart, but we emerged a little bit after each other. We're actually both going to, I'm going to Tulsa. He's going to a city by Tulsa. So that's funny. We're delivering with each other tomorrow morning, but we're about to go in, get some showers and we're probably going to stop at the big apple chuck stop and get some Indian food but we got to go shower because we both pooped our pants yesterday so uh... <laughs> no only one of us did but you guys got to guess who all right but we're about to go in get some the one always showers <laughs> and then we're probably gonna get a truck wash maybe there's a truck wash right there it looks like there's a lot of people in line though so i don't know bro look at these trucks we got some cab overs on the other one. These are cool. Look at that cab over. Attention professional drivers. Bro, this truck stop is nice. This is the TA in Cuba, Missouri. Look, they got these nice seats here. They got charging stations. They got the massage chairs. We about to go get a shower, baby. Shower time. Let's get the scrubbing. All right, guys, got myself a drink. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> now I'm headed back to the truck. Zeke's outside of my window, like always. Little Red Carlos got his little peat looking dirty, his ramen noodle holder. And then we're gonna head on down the road. He had to go get a drink and copy me, but he's doing it late like my brother does. Wasting time, he should have did it when he was leaving the shower. Now we gotta wait for him. <laughs> Hi, Ziki. Hi, Ziki. Good morning, guys. We made it to Effingham, Illinois last night. You already know I'm at the TA, <laughs> the Dunkin' Donuts. I'm about to wake up, let my puppies out, and get some Dunkin' Days. <laughs> oh, man. I woke up sore as crap this morning, man. That motorcycle, a motorcycle really did something to me. Woo! I'm freaking sore. All right, y'all. Me and Carlos are about to head out of this TA, and we're going to stop at the big cabin. Or not big cabin, that's Oklahoma. Um, big Apple <laughs> truck stop. My windows are so dirty from the dog. But we're about to take off and go get some Indian food, I think, at the Big Apple truck stop. Or um, Iron Skillet, 
at the Petro. Oh my God, my hair is crazy. But either one, either one got good grub, but yeah, we about to head out. I forgot the dog's food balls. Now they got to drink out of tin foil. <laughs> You gotta stand out here. Then <laughs> <laughs> Zeke locked me out. Oh, they're gonna hold them for you? Yeah, they hold this. It's the morning. Oh my god, I can't get this out of here. Zeke, why'd you lock me out, you asshole? Why are you nervous? You can't find the keys in your pocket, look. Look at you, struggling. Voila. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> come, on, come on, Benji. Hey, this Mexican. Come here, Benji. You gotta get on the driver's side. Show him how to drive. All right, Benji. Hey, you gonna show him how to drive, Benji? You show him how to drive for two more hours? All right, bye bye. All right. I'll take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Zeke. It's just me and you for right now, baby. I know. Ben Ben's gone. We go do it out him for a little bit. For just two more hours, Zeke Poo. He'll be back. Go bye bye. Alright, guys. We made it to the Big Apple truck stop. And the brothers have met again. Zeke, say hello. Oh my goodness, you've been crying for him all day. Oh my god, I remember! <laughs> they got separation in life. Right here. Friends, Zuki, you go see your brother. I don't know about y'all, but I am starving. I'm out of, my belly's getting hunger pains right now. About to go in and get some Indian grub. Some real Indian grub here at the Big Apple Truck Stop. With Carlos. Too bad there ain't no Mexican food, man. I want some tacos. I want some tacos. Hey, I'm good with Indian food. <laughs> what you about to order? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it has something with mango on it. Alright, right, we ordered our food. I got the chicken tiki, tiki marsala don't, don't already. Lie, don't lie to the people. You got like three different things. No, I didn't. I had chicken <laughs> tiki marsala. And then I got I got garlic naan like I usually do. What'd you get? I got the... Damn, what is, oh, I got the fish curry. Oh, I need yeah. the chicken or the lamb, bro. It's, it's 4.30, guys, and she says she's going to come back to get dinner at 7. <laughs> No, you said that. I said I want to get chicken curry to go. Don't be shy now. What do you say? All right. How do we know which naan is this? Is? Uh, open it. What one did you get? Uh, butter. How do you know if it's garlic or butter? Or that's gar not? Uh, that's butter. That's. Let's see. That's. That's butter. That's butter. That ain't got no garlic on it. 
Let's see, let's see. Damn, bro, you ordered all that. I'm still waiting ooh. on my food. Ooh. Look at, ooh, look at the garlic one. Dude, how do we know which one is which? That's all yours. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm just trying to make you look No, bad. it's not. No. I know, I'm just trying to make you look bad. <laughs> Carlos just took my dogs out while I edited my next YouTube video. <laughs> so we took them to the park they got here at the Big Apple truck stop in uh, Joplin, Missouri. And uh, they're pooped. I forgot their water water dishes at home, so they're drinking out of tinfoil trays, and I don't think they like it. Huh. Say, so we're supposed to be spoiled doggies, and we're drinking out of tinfoil. I don't think I like this, Mama. Zeke is getting See what? Guys are gonna, I'm gonna kick your guys' butt. I need to go on a diet, guys. Starting tomorrow. Starting tomorrow, Big Rick Becca is going on a diet. <laughs> Don't look at that Indian food right there. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We just woke up at the big apple truck stop in Joblin. We are about to head out. Carlos is going. <laughs> Carlos is going the same way as me, so we're gonna be following each other again in his little rig. Why but what? That shit's clean. Your truck's clean, bro. Hey, ain't his truck clean? Sure, look at. No, mine's cleaner. <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. Let's get on the road. baby I need to start up my baby all right let's go see what they got for me let's go inside see what they got what do you guys do Zeke just fell out of the truck being nosy they're checking out my windshield seeing if this crack is replaceable hey come on is a uh, fillable <laughs> or something they need it they might have to replace the whole windshield I'm not sure yet 
Ziki, come on. Ziki just fell out of the truck. You bad boy. All right, guys. Come on. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my goodies. These, these are my goodies. I got a BRB high vise vest in purple. What's up, what's up with it? <laughs> And I got a purple hard hat. Yes, purple is the color. Purple is the color of Big Rig Becca. You know what I'm saying? What else? What else? You know, I got the purple gloves. I was so excited about these, you guys. My boss got me these because, hold on, look, the air is way too high. Hold on, hold on. They only got large and extra large gloves in truck stops. Sometimes they, I don't, I don't really think they got medium. I think it's just large. Sorry, I'm trying to put, oh, no, this is the right hand. These are perfect. These fit my hands perfectly. These are the best gloves I've ever had. I've never had gloves as good, but um, I'm about to use the sh crap out of these. Huh, Zeke? Huh, I'm about to, we're about to use the crap out of these purple gloves. Come on, you want a purple leash? You want a purple collar, huh? One purple collar? Ah! <laughs> All right, guys. My windshield is getting fixed tomorrow morning. So I'll probably be taking off on a Saturday, maybe in the mid-afternoon. I don't know if I can get a load. But right now, my boss invited me to a rodeo tonight, uh, Friday night. So I'm going to a rodeo, my first ever rodeo. <laughs>
at the hotel. Ziki got his hair cut. What happened to you, Ziki Poo? Ziki Poo, look at the camera. Oh my goodness, it looks so ugly. <laughs> Keep up. Look at your hair cut today. <laughs> look at like your summer cut. <laughs> well, we are. I'm just hanging out at the hotel, guys. I did not get a load this weekend, so I'm stuck in Arkansas. Stuck in Arkansas for the weekend. Me, Bungie, and Zeke. Zeke just chilling. What? Who am I talking to? Am I talking to nobody? <laughs> Alright, y'all. So this morning, I'm going to be booking my own load using the Lone Wolf program that my company has offered me to use as a company driver. They usually only allow their owner-operators to use this program, which is booking your own loads going where you want to go um giving you the freedom to pick your own loads and stuff like that um this should be really cool for me as a um company driver they so they don't normally let their company drivers do this um but this morning i'm going to we're gonna they're trying to give me give me a chance to give this a test run um i don't know if i'm explaining this good or if i just sound like a complete idiot right now but the loan look program what we do is if you're an owner operator and you've been running under your own authority you want you like that you like that freedom you want to continue to do that uh, however you know the back end part of it the safety piece the compliance piece the keeping up with dot regulations and whatnot you know you can run under our authority but continue to run yourself as if you're running under your own um, and we allow all of our contractors to really just book their freight um, they can use spot boards we're set up with majority of uh, brokers out there so the process is pretty simple a lot of times our contractors will go on load boards such as uh, dat that you see here and they'll book the loads uh, reach out to the broker uh, they'll send the rate confirmations over. If we're not set up with them, we'll do a credit approval. We just want to make sure that we get paid and you as a contractor gets paid as well. And from there, we will uh, get them set up in our system, get a rate con, send it back to you, um, and you run it uh, for, uh, you know, the rate. It's very open, transparent. We let, you know, all of our contractors and drivers see the rates on all the rate cons. We don't really hide anything. so. Um, you know, we just, we're not in the business for that, but, um, it's very, it's very simple. It's very smooth transition. Um, you know, we provide the trailers, we provide, um, the insurances and tags, anything that you need. We can set you up with those programs, fuel cards with, we pass on hundred percent of the fuel discounts. So a lot of, you know, really good things that I like to think that we offer that the lone wolf is, um, you know, as long as it fits within our guidelines, you know, we have minimums that we want our drivers to hit on a, on a weekly basis. Um, you know, we want to make sure that you're profitable and if you're not profitable, we're not profitable. So, so I just booked my own load. My tablet is about to die. I just booked, I feel like I'm all over the place. I just booked my own first load, my own first load. It's picking up in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's 145 mile deadhead and it goes to Payson, Utah. It was posted for 4,000 uh, and I asked him for 43 and uh, he approved. This up here is showing me my little route right here from Little Rock going through Oklahoma. I like this this little app, this DAT app because it shows you like little route you, routes you'll be taking and stuff. Um, but I still have a lot of learning to do and getting used to with this. Um, I did call a couple loads that were already taken so I can already see that um, you got to work fast with this load board um, so it's gonna it is a learning experience I'm excited to, to learn this and check this out and I think it's awesome that art is giving me the chance to try to book my own loads and get this experience so um, especially in they they get they let their owner operators pick their own loads and they have they have um, different load boards on here also that you can choose from they don't make you just use certain things like you can use whatever load boards you want 
uh, go where you want, schedule yourself how you want to. And that's what's kind of awesome about the Lone Wolf program and that they're giving me the chance to do that because I can schedule myself where I want to go. If I have like a family event to go to, I can do that. I can go there. So this is going to be something, something big guys. This is this is something really cool. Uh, I didn't get to do this at my last company, so but it is giving me some experience with booking loads and talking to brokers and asking them to go up on rates and a whole different type of new experience and stuff I'm going to be dealing with. So it's going to be awesome. I'm excited. That's why I'm like kind of all over the place right now and I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I'm like just freaking out. <laughs> but I have to I still have to connect to my trailer I just uh, booked the shingle load so now I gotta go pick it up I think they they load till three so I'll be right back all right so I just booked my first load now I gotta now I gotta uh fully connect to my trailer I mean uh yeah come on <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about right now I'm like super excited <laughs> I don't even know why okay but I gotta get my gloves on my new purple gloves <laughs> I got my jeans on. Something you guys don't see very much often. Very, I feel like I'm messing up my speed so bad right now. But I'm gonna connect to my trailer. Gotta do my pre-trip on my tractor and my, <laughs> my truck and my trailer. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like really excited right now guys. I don't even know. I can't even talk. <laughs> I'm about to be booking my own freight. I'm about to be booking my own freight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Gotta connect. Gotta connect. I can't miss my pickup. Ziki, you look ugly. You got a haircut, Ziki. You look ugly. <laughs> favorite place to go if you guys do not know I love stopping at the Route 66 casino so I'm gonna be there this week stopping through there going to get some grub in the casino and uh, and then I'll be going through Moab that's another that's another cool place that I like going through um, it's really beautiful scenery going through Moab so that's one of my top places to, to drive through if you guys never been uh, through Moab you guys need to go through uh, 191 and on Moab, it's a beautiful sight, some beautiful scenery, and it's an awesome drive. So this is my first load, booking through the Lone Wolf program, you guys. So we're testing this thing out, we're gonna see how I do. Like I said, the company drivers don't usually do this program. It's their owner operators that they allow to book their own loads. So I'm just kind of testing it out for them. So uh, my, yeah, my first load I booked, it's going to, uh, it's going to Utah. Pace in Utah, I believe. And uh, and then tomorrow I'm gonna call 
I'm gonna go look at like what loads they have and I'm gonna call. <laughs> this guy, this guy over here, the forklift driver said I hit this fence. He said I hit this fence right here. I'm like that was not me. I can I got out about, I got out about three times to make sure I didn't hit that fence. I'm like that, they, that was not me. <laughs> Hey, I know I'm a, I'm a flatbed driver and we usually don't know how to back up, but I for sure did not hit that fence, I promise you. But you guys, I, I surprised myself because I did not think I was gonna back into this door that fast, but I did, like, and I know they have a fun time watching everybody back up into these docks because when I got here, about seven people walked out and were standing there with their hands on their hips waiting for me to back up. And then once they seen that I was, uh, that I was achievementful, <laughs> I can't think of my words. I sound like an idiot. Once they seen that I was successful, <laughs> I said achievement fool. <laughs> Once they seen that I was successful, they had no interest anymore. They just walked away. So that's all I know. I know exactly what they were doing. You think I'm stupid? <laughs> Hi, Zeke. Oh, oh. Ben Ben, he tried to say I hit that fence. Can you believe that? He tried to blame it on me. You do know that? Oh my goodness, that's just crazy. You can't be blaming it on me. <laughs> also, I am not 100% completely like on my own with this company. If I get stuck somewhere, say I can't find a load or I'm having some trouble finding one or I just need some help, uh, their dispatch is still going to be there to help me out, um, to get me unstuck, I would say. <laughs> so um, that's kind of how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna be the first tester outer. <laughs> of this uh, little program this little program they got here so uh, this is gonna be interesting guys gonna gonna have some new content with this like booking my own loads uh probably be showing you guys like me talking to brokers and stuff so this is gonna be pretty cool <laughs>
Alright guys, I made it to the Rue 66 Casino. I'm gonna end this video here because I think it's getting mighty mighty long. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, gonna go go get some grub inside the casino maybe. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> my windows are so dirty. Ziki, that's from you rubbing your puppy nose. Come in and rubbing your puppy nose on my window. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I promise you guys, I'm reading everybody's comments. I'm trying to get to everybody's comments. It's just been so hectic. Um, with trying to get back to everybody. I used to be really good at it, but now I kind of suck. So, uh, I, I try to read everybody's messages in my DMs, try to get back to as many people as I can. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Most of my viewers are not subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button. Help me, help me get to 50K, people. We're trying to get to 50K. That's the goal. But, um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm trying to get posted more frequently, more frequently on there. And I'll see you guys. Peace. I'm in control, hitting out and couldn't see a couple shots of Patron. I ain't feeling night, I get your eyes a okay. Party pop shot says she's coming with me tonight. I ain't self-delaying, I ain't snapping and popping, neither I'm bobbing my head.